Mr. Gates. My apologies for keeping you waiting. You know those staff meetings, they, they just go on and on. Yeah, it must be hard taking over on the circumstances. Yes. Hollis was the uh, best department head the city's ever had. My God, what happened to your nose? Cut it shaving. You should be more careful. I must really smart. Only when I breathe. <laughs> Only when he breathes. Uh, so tell me, you still working from his Millbury? I never was. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't really either. But you hired me. Or at least you hired that little chippy to hire me. Mr. Gates, you're not making a lick of sense right now. Well, let me tell it to you like this. Mr. Mulray didn't want me there. And he had a high reputation to get around. You wanted to ruin it. Then he found out you were dumping water in the middle of the night. And then he was drowned. Gates, that is an outrageous accusation. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you know, Mr. Whitey Hurlitz at the Times will know. Dumping thousands of gallons of water in the middle of a drought? That's news. Wait! anxious to let this get out and around, but we've been diverting water to the avocado and walnut groves in the Northwest Valley. The farmers there have no legal rights to this water. Ever since the drought, we had to cut them off. The city comes first, naturally, but just wanted to help some of them out, you know? Try, try to keep them above water. And naturally, when you divert a little water, you're gonna get a little runoff. Yeah, a little runoff. Where are these orchards? I told you, the Northwest Valley. That's like saying they're in Arizona. Mr. Gates, I have my men out there, so I can't give you my, that exact location. You're a family man, right? Yes. Wife and kids, hardworking? Yes. <sighs> See, I don't want to nail you. Why don't you call me? I can help. Who knows? Maybe we can even pin this whole thing on a couple of big shots. Maybe you can keep your job for 20 more years. <laughs> 